Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how to cut out and sew up your panel skirt. So this is part of the skirt edit series. So for this video you're going to need your finished patterns, your chosen fabric, lining, interlining for your waistband and a zip. So I will link my video for the patterns down below. Okay, so go ahead and iron out your fabric and then place it on the fold. So now we're gonna start placing down the pattern pieces. So the front pattern piece for the center front, you're going to be putting on the fold of your fabric. And then use this as a guide to place your second pattern piece. So you can go ahead and pin them in place. So once they're pinned, you can go ahead and cut them out and don't forget to nick in your notches. So for the back pattern pieces, again, the center back line is going to be on the fold of your fabric and then place the second pattern piece beside this one and pin them in place. So like the others, you can go ahead and cut them out once they're pinned and don't forget to mark in your notches and your dart point. So I'm doing this with a pen like usual just for this tutorial but usually I would use a tailor's chalk when I'm using good fabric. So for the waistband you're just going to need to cut out one piece of this. So unfold your fabric and then pin your pattern in place. So after you've cut out, don't forget to mark in all of those notches because they'll be very important later on. So next we need to cut out the interfacing for the waistband. So I'm simply just going to lay out the waistband down on the interfacing and cut out what I need. Usually you would iron your interfacing to your fabric before even cutting out your waistband. But I just find this can be a little wasteful, so this way I'm just saving on my interfacing. So once you've cut out, go ahead and iron the two pieces together. Okay, so now for the lining. So both the front and the back patterns are cut on the fold because you're going to have a zip in your side seam. So make sure your lining fabric is on the fold when you're pinning your patterns in place. So after the cut out, don't forget to mark in your notches and your dart points. So going back to the front pieces, it's time to remove the pattern from the fabric. So now I'm going to open out the center front panel and place down the side seams on top of it so that the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. Then I'm going to make sure that my notches are meeting and then I'm going to pin the two pieces together. So now you can go ahead and sew the seams together using a one centimeter seam allowance. So for the back, you're going to follow the same steps as the front. Remove your patterns from your fabric, open out the center back panel, then you're gonna place the side seams down on top of each other so the right sides are facing, and then pin the pieces together. And again, like the front, you're gonna sew them together using a one centimeter seam allowance. So on the back pattern, don't forget to sew in your darts. I haven't actually shown this in the video, but while I'm sewing the seams together, I also sew the dart. So 
So now for the lining. So go ahead and remove the pattern pieces from the fabric and then open out your front and your back. So this time you're gonna have six darts to sew in. So simply grab the notches at the top so that they're meeting each other and sew from the waistline down to the end dart point. So before moving on, just go ahead and iron out all the seams on the skirt pieces. So now it's time to sew the side seams together. So lay the back and the front side pieces together so that the right sides are facing and then pin them together at the side seams. So make sure that you leave the top half of the left side seam open because this is where you're going to put in your zip. So go ahead and sew the seams together using a one centimeter seam allowance. And then when you're done, don't forget to iron out the seams as well. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the same for the lining. So you're gonna sew the side seams together using a one centimeter seam allowance. And again, make sure that you leave the top half of the left open so you can put in your zip. And again, iron out the seams when you're finished. So now for the waistband. So using the notches on your waistband, you're going to line them up with all the notches on the waist of your skirt. And then just pin them together and we're gonna sew the two pieces together using a one centimeter seam allowance. And again, when you're finished, iron out those seams flat and cut off any excess treads. So off camera, I folded over the waistband and I just ironed the flat so that I can start working on the lining. Okay, so like before, you're going to now line up the notches on the waistband with the waistline of your lining. And then just make sure you pin all these together and then we're going to sew the two together using a one centimeter seam allowance. So when you've got this done, again, go ahead and iron out the seams flat. So now we can start seeing our skirt. So what we need to do now is sew in the zip. So I actually decided to change to an invisible zip, but unfortunately I only had a black one on hand, so it'll just have to do. <laughs> So I have a tutorial on my channel for anyone who needs it, I will link it below. So I'm just pinning my zip to the fabric and to do this I'm lining the top of the zip up with the fold of the notch and the waistband and then just pinning the rest of it to the fabric. So you can see here, I'm using a different uh, zipper foot. It's actually an invisible zipper foot, and this is my first time using it. 
To be quite honest, it was great in the beginning, but I ended up having to go back to my original zipper foot to finish it off. So it was kind of counterproductive. So once you've it sewn, um, you're going to open it up a few times, make sure that you're happy with the placement of the zip before you move on. So if you are happy, now it's time to pin the lining to the zip. So to do this, I'm going to fold over the waistband so that the right sides are facing each other. And then I'm lining up the seams and the notches before pinning the lining to the zip. So this time I'm going in with my original zipper foot and I'm going to sew as close to the zipper as I can get. So once you've it done, don't forget to open and close it a few times, make sure that your fabric doesn't get stuck and then we're going to trim off the excess zip from the corner of the waistband and this will reduce the bulk. So now you can turn your skirt the right way around and give it a good ironing. Okay, so lastly we need to do the hem. So to do this, I simply fold over the hem by one centimeter and give that a good iron flat. Then I fold up the remaining three centimeters and I iron this flat too. So now I'm going to go in with a needle and thread and I'm going to sew the hem up using a blind stitch. So I will actually repeat the same thing for the lining. But again, you can do your hem whatever way you prefer, whether it's using a hem and tape or just sewing it on the machine. And that is it finished. So now just give your skirt a really good iron and you're ready to go. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and share with your friends. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.